This is John Nat, King Shumade of Agape Love Tertiary Ministry. Our calling is to share the good news of God's love worldwide. We do it through many, many ways, through ministering, preaching, helping, and practical help. This message has been recorded especially for you and for you and for you. And the purpose is for you to be blessed by them. Listen, share it, and write your comments. We like to know how you think and what you feel about them. How they've been a blessing to you. Bye bye. It's John Akim Shumade of Agapio Tesha Ministry. Bye. This is John Akim Kulukaide Shumade of Agape Lotasha Ministry. We've come at you again with our broadcast. We continue the theme, the power and the blood of Jesus. Part two, the power and the blood of Jesus. Part two. We started last time with Revelation 12, 11, that says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and the word of their testimony, and they loved not their life by death. They loved not their life by death. How do you overcome? You overcome by the blood of the Lamb. And who is the Lamb? Is our Lord Jesus Christ. How do you overcome? You overcome by the word of your testimony. You've applied the blood. And what are you confessing? What are you confessing? What are you confessing? What are you confessing? That's a question that I want you to answer by yourself. What are you confessing? Are you confessing the problem? Are you confessing the power of the enemy? Or are you confessing the power that's in the blood of Jesus? The ultimate sacrifice on the cross of Calvary. The finish work on the cross uh, that guarantees us uh, restoration with the Father, that guarantees us uh, healing, uh, forgiveness of sin, uh, bro the, the power of curses uh, in the family being broken, uh, the power of the enemy being broken over our life. Uh, are you confessing that? Oh, kahiaba, sotore, sotore, uh, are you so love your life uh, that you are ashamed to be aligned? Uh, with the one that gave you the life. Some people are like that. They so love the life that they are ashamed to love and to confess the power and the person of the Lord Jesus Christ, the one that gave them the life. Oh, I want you to be transformed today. Transformed today. Transformed today. It is Easter time. It is Easter time. The Christians are Fasting, the Muslim fasting, potent power, Kamalu Sharaba Soturia, Le Soturia. So we look at that time and we say that we overcome by the power, that the power we overcome that by the blood of the Lamb, of the Lamb, and the word of our testimony, version 12 11. And we also look at Hebrew chapter 9, verse 22, that says, According to the law, almost all things are purified with the blood and without the shedding of the blood there is no remission hey, let's see that again according to the law almost all things are purified with the blood not any blood the blood of Jesus not any power the power that's in the blood of Jesus and without the shedding of that blood there is no remission so when when people are doing sacrifice uh, and they are killing animals or whatever that is a covering of sin uh, but the ultimate sacrifice has been done by the Lord Jesus Christ uh, he sacrificed willingly gave himself up to be sacrificed for the sin of all mankind uh, the world uh, male, female, young, old no matter whatever color 
It does not discriminate. The power that the blood of Jesus is potent enough. He is able to do all things. Do you believe in that power? And that is, I want you to get you into today. There's this song that says, What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. He said, What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. I pray today that your sin, my sin, our sin, the sin of the world be washed away. But it can only, Jesus has done what he needs to do. He doesn't need to die again. But you need to enter into that finished work. You need to come to him. You need to align with him. You need to know that there is a potency in the blood of Jesus. Run to him. Run to him. Run to him. And you'll be saved. What can wash away my sin? All those sins that you are hiding, it is visible to the Lord. It is Jehovah Shammah, the Lord that says he's always with you. He is a Roi, the one that sees you. It does not matter what you are doing on that world form of darkness. The Lord a Roi sees you. What you're doing right now, in fact, what you are saying in your heart right now, this is not about uh, religion. This is about relationship uh, with Christ. Uh, the Lord is calling you. Uh, the owner of your life is romancing you. Uh, the one that gave you, but he willingly gave you, he also saying, come to me. Come to me. Come to me. He's romancing you. Let me touch you in the place you've never been touched before. All you have ever known is lack. All you have never known is pain. All you have never known is disfavor. I have come today. I have come to rescue you. I have come to make you a new person. I want to introduce you into a new ways of life. A new place where no demon, no power can overcome you. I want to take you into a place of safety in the bosom of the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, what can wash away your sin? It is nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make you whole again. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. I'm a lotion. In respect of what sickness, in respect of what disease, in respect of what cancer, whatever name they give it, every life-threatening situation that you've ever faced, I call upon the power that's in the blood of Jesus. The one that can make you whole again. The one who died and they say with his tribe, you were made whole. Isaiah 53 verse 5 the one that took all your pain, all your ridicule, all the shame all the curses that have ever been reigned, every evil sacrifice that have ever been made, whatever and whatever region, whatever realm, they are doing these things the one that sees them, he sees them, and your Jehovah Shama, who is with you is put a banner is put a banner, he said that in Zechariah 2 5, he said, For I say the Lord, I will be a wall of fire, a wall of fire all around her, and I will be the glory in her midst. Zechariah 2 5, the one that says, He said, I will build a wall of fire. It does not matter what they are doing, what matters is what Jesus is doing and what you are confessing, who you are lying with. A wall of fire. I pray a wall of fire upon you, upon her upon your children, upon my children, upon your family, upon my family, your wall of fire, upon your loved ones, upon my loved ones, labor la koshoturia, and let the Lord be the glory in your midst. Zechariah 2 5, le korobo shekarake, erigete kete shetukutea, le boso koto shekete, le koto tsutere, le korobo sotea. Oh, have you been into any, to all kind of sin, the suke routine, le belo tsutere, he sees you, he sees you, he sees for my pardon, this I see. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. For my cleansing, this is my plea. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Well, nothing can foresee a tune. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. There's a power in the blood 
of Jesus. Now let's move on to the word. Let's move on to the word. That was just a, 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 a blessing to you and I. We said last time that Revelation 12 is a chapter in the Bible that uses symbolic figures to describe the conflict between the church of Christ and Satan. And the church she was portrayed as a woman and Satan as a great red dragon persecuting whole church and offspring. I said today that whole dragon, the power that the blood of Jesus has brought it down, has brought it down. It does not matter what he's doing, he's just making noise like a puppy. You know, when you hear a puppy, a puppy barking from afar, it sounds like a big dog, but when you come near. You realize it's just a puppy. You shush it, you, you, you quieten it, you shut it down. That's what you should do for all those things that are making noise. It's not a bulldog, it's a puppy. He has been defeated, he's been put in shame. So without this shedding, without this blood, he said there's no remission of sin. Ah, without the blood, there's no remission of sin of your past, present, and future sin, but Jesus has paid the price for all of it. Without the blood, there is no remission of sin, of action or neglect. The blood of Jesus are taking care of it. So we are now looking that unless the sinner is cleansed from sin by the blood of Jesus, there is no remission at all. And I'm inviting you now to come to Jesus, to be allowed for the cleansing power of the blood, the power in the blood of Jesus. The Bible is a book of the blood. The unlimited power of the gospel is found in the blood of Jesus Christ. When you read from Revelation, from Genesis to Revelation, it is the blood. It is the blood. It is the blood. I plead 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 the blood. The blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over my life, over my home, over my wife, over my children, over your children, over your wife, over your husband, over your loved ones. Plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood. It's not just saying I plead the blood. You have to know this blood. Come to him, come to him, allow him to cleanse you. Plead the blood, the blood, the blood. We plead the blood, we plead the blood. Together we plead the blood, the will, the blood. This blood is blood guarantee of salvation. Come to him, receive salvation, be saved, be rescued. And the Bible says, we say that without the shedding of the blood, he said there's no justification. We look at that. We also talk about that. I'm not going to go over that one. Without uh, the shedding of the blood, there's no re redemption. We look at that. I'm not going, if you want to know that, go back to part one. We said without uh, the shedding of the blood, there's no forgiveness. Again, it's all in part one. Again, we said without uh, the shedding of the blood, there's no cleansing. Again, look into part one. I need, I'm referring to part one because uh, we've laid the background in part one. Uh, we said that without the shedding of the blood, there's no atonement. Uh, it's also in part one. Uh, without uh, the shedding of the blood, uh, there's no sanctification. Uh, part one. Uh, without the shedding of the blood, uh, we said there is no victory. In that, we said the true believer will overcome Satan. We overcome sin and all the power of darkness uh, by the blood. Uh, this is what I come to tell you. I said, uh, uh, true, 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 true the blood. Uh, a true believer, we overcome Satan. Uh, become a true believer today. We are willingly, willingly recommitting yourself. Uh, confessing your sin. Confessing your sin. Confessing your sin. 
sins, confessing your sins, repent of them. There's one thing confessing, also repenting is important. It means that you really, truly, truly sorry for what you have done. And then ask for forgiveness, ask for forgiveness. After her forgiveness, now ask the power, that's the blood, to wash you. Let the Lord to bring you in, to make you his own, bring you in, make you his own, bring you in, make you his own, so that you can tap into this victory here. Yeah? Because without the shedding of blood, there's no victory. The true believer, we overcome Satan. Revelation 12 11 says, We overcome him who is him, Satan. The Bolokutu Shukudu, the power of the dragon, the dark one, the Lucifer one, whatever name you call him, by the blood we overcome by the blood. Blood, the blood of the lamb, not just any ordinary lamb, Jesus. They make himself the lamb of God, labeled here, that willingly lay his life on for the mankind and the word of our testimony. And so, be a true believer today. Come to him, ask him to accept you as Lord and Savior, and begin to follow him. Ask his spirit to come upon you so that you begin to walk with him, and then you can tap into this victory because without. Without, without the shedding of the blood, there is no victory. You receive victory today. Receive victory today. Yeah. Receive victory, but you have to do your thing, your part, your part, your part, your part. So, as a true believer, you believe in Him. You walk with Him. Sin and the power of darkness uh, is broken over your life by the blood of Jesus. Christ the Lamb has done it. Peter call it the precious blood of Jesus. First Peter 1, verse 18 to 19. Let the precious blood of Jesus come out to you. Now we're moving on into without the shedding of the blood. Leboroko sheke, leboroko sukutoria, lente reboso sukotebe leke sukutoria. Without shedding of blood. Leviticus 17, verse 11. It said, for the life of the flesh is in the blood and I've given it to you upon the altar to make atonement for your soul so without the shedding of the blood there's no atonement for your soul there's no atonement for your soul for it is the blood that makes atonement for your soul for your soul and so today I pray that you come to Lord Jesus that your soul there shall be a soul atonement for your soul, a torment, a torment, a torment, a torment for your soul. Le kuba le ambe de se tere bo do shukoto di kuto se tere ya ke mara ba ton to le be ya le konte se ke tere kushia le nturo bo to shukoto ya. First John one seven, it says the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son cleanses us from all sin. So without the shedding of the blood, there's no cleansing from all sin. First John 1 7 Revelation 1 5 it says unto him that loved us and washed us from our sin in his own blood again you see without the shedding of the blood there is no washing from the sin no cleansing from the sin come to him come to him Exodus 12 13 it says yeah Ah, and when you see the blood, and when you see the blood, when you see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. La Kasata, Exodus 12 13. He says, When and when you see the blood, he will told them to signpost their house with the blood. The blood not just any blood, the blood, the blood, the blood that have been that have been that have been washed and cleansed by the blood of the lamb. So the animal need to be washed and cleansed. Keep okay men the kreteshu to 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 rikebe loso to dia nekareya. You don't kill that blood with incantation and expect the the, the to be a Passover over you. Likara sandu rebo shatara sata. I see the blood. If you obey me, you have done what I ask you to do. There is disaster coming. The 
disasters coming uh, over, over, over Egypt. Le Karababa. The disaster coming over the land of Egypt. Le Konde Boshekete Rekete Sereya. He said, but uh, when you obey what I tell you to do, uh, Ayakata, uh, put uh, the ram in the way I was pres that was prescribed. Uh, Pray over the lamb. Linkuma she hariata. Smear the blood upon your house. Eara ko shakatara. When the agent of death is coming, akumi ma loki sha. He said, I will pass over you. I will pass over you. You and everyone in your house, and everyone that belongs to you. It doesn't matter what else they they are. You instruct them to do the same. Linkuma ya. The agent of death will pass over them, and the plague shall not be upon them uh, to destroy them. Uh, when I strike and smite the land of Egypt, uh, the disaster coming. Uh, and the believer uh, need to believe in the power that's in the blood of Jesus. Uh, put the calibre here. Le kuma na kasata tata ya. Le kote here. The sign of the blood upon your home, upon your life, upon your children. So wherever they go, when the agent of death comes upon your car, mun le kara shikulu bala shikata ya. Or any vehicle that you are entering, put the sign of the blood upon it, upon the plane, upon the train, upon the buses, any form of transformation. The, the transportation, uh, including boats, uh, put the sign of the blood upon it. Uh, when the agent of death comes, uh, he will pass over you. Wherever you are, you become the lighthouse. Uh, nothing, uh, nothing uh, of darkness uh, will be able to overcome you. And time to such power right today. Revelation 12 11 again says, and they overcome him, uh, Satan, uh, by the blood of the Lamb uh, and the word of our testimony. Uh, that tells me uh, that many things you can attain through the blood. Uh, through the blood, uh, you can achieve the following. Uh, uh, listen, 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 listen. This is about the power in the blood. Uh, through the blood, uh, you can achieve the following. Uh, Number one, cleansing any form of dirt. Any form of dirt through the power that's in the blood, you can achieve a cleansing. A cleansing. We spoke about cleansing earlier on. We spoke about cleansing. First John 1 7. We said the blood of Jesus continues to cleanse us from sin day after day. Ah, may the blood of Jesus cleanse you and I day after day, day after day, day after day. That too here from any form of dirt, any form of death, any form of stain that the enemy try to put on you and I. Le Karababa, if they pull a garment of shame upon you, a garment stain, and the enemy is coming to accuse you, I say today, by the power that's in the blood, by the hand of Jesus, I take those, uh, those clothes uh, stain uh, with sin of you and I, uh, of your home, of your family. Uh, that cloth of sin is taken off right now uh, in the name of our Father. Uh, through the blood, uh, receive the cleansing power of, uh, of the blood of Jesus. Uh, without through the blood, you can achieve the following sanitization. Sanitization. You know when you sanitize something, sometimes you use disinfectant. It is a disinfectant. The blood of Jesus is disinfectant over your life. You use disinfectant over property, over land, home, whatever it is. But the blood of Jesus is a disinfectant over your life. Over your life. Anything that seeks to pollute you and I uh, cannot get in uh, 
because the blood of Jesus has sanitized our life. I pray the blood of Jesus sanitize your life right now. It is sanitizing. It sanitizes your life. Your life. Your life. My life. The life of my children and your children. Of your family. Of your loved ones. Libala Kashi Araba Satalia. The blood of Jesus. And through the blood of Jesus, you can achieve deliverance. Link one email you here. Link one table you to the Revelation 12 11. I'm sorry to you. Link one teach you overcoming by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. That includes deliverance. Deliverance from every form of satanic hold. Receive your deliverance. That means you are delivered from the hand of poverty. You are delivered from the hand of lack. Every stronghold, every power of darkness, every strange, strange covenant. You are delivered from every curse. You are delivered, you and I. Every strange covenant, every curse, every power of darkness. We are delivered. We are set free. We are set free from the power of poverty. You are delivered from mental health. You are delivered from the from failure and failure at the head of breakthrough. You are delivered as a family from from conflict, from conflict, from insufficiency, from infighting, from lack of unity, from, 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 from lack of unity. You are delivered. You deliver financial deliverance, spiritual deliverance, physical deliverance. Your mind is delivered. Your soul is delivered. Lack of achievement, lack of recognition, you are delivered. You are delivered in the name of Jesus with the power of the blood and through the blood, healing any form of healing of some infirmity, healing from any form of healing, infirmity, as I have 53 verse 5, delivers you. You are healed, you are healed, you are healed. He said, With his tribe, you are made whole. Through the blood of the Lamb, you are protection of the Almighty. The mighty one protects you, the mighty one protects protect you. He gives you victory. You overcome, you overcome, you overcome, you overcome by the power that's in the blood. We put you under the cover of the Almighty. According to Psalm 91, no evil will come your way. A thousand may fall on your side, ten thousand may, may fall on the right hand side. It shall not come under, it shall not come into your household, it shall not come into your presence, it shall not come into your midst. We exercise, we call upon the command of the Timber of Sikitaria, the Serubin and the Ferrafin, the one that protects us, the God to protect you and I from the assault of Satan, from the assault of the enemy. We are protected, and we call upon the Angel Michael and all and all his team to go and fight for us because the Lord said he will fight for us, he said he will fight for us, he will fight for us. Battle, you fight a battle, labor less here. You fight against us, you fight against us, you fight against us, you fight against us. You will deactivate their power, and their power become nothing, and they will not be to reach us. Thank you, Father Lord. He said that, that through the blood of the Lamb, the blood of the Lamb.
remember the blood of the Lamb, life giving power. Ah, it revive anyone, it revive us anything that is made dead. The life giving power of the blood revive you and I, revive you and I, revive you and I, physically, financially, professionally, ah, in every dimension, revive your children, your ministry, your calling, revive your business, and the power, life giving power of the blood, revive your business. And that have been made dead, that have been killed, that have been destroyed. I said the life giving power of the blood revive them right now. The power of the blood, life giving power of the blood, revive your marriage, revive your marriage, revive your job, revive your business. The power of the blood, through the life giving power of the blood of the lamb, yokes are broken. Yokes are broken. Yokes are broken. People and things are set free from any kind of yoke. Yoke. Let the yoke over your life, over my life be broken. Over your love, over my loved ones. Your children, my children be broken. Let people be set free. Aliva la kata kurubude. Yokes are broken. Yokes are broken through the power of the blood. You overcome. You overcome by the blood. You receive overcoming power. Le shakara baba. You may have suffered defeat in the Pastor, but receive of a common power. Of a common power comes to you through the blood, through the blood, through the blood. The door begin to open to you. The door begin to open to me. In fact, I become as God. When we talk about the gates being being open, I say, "Where well, you get? Lift up your head. Let the King of Glory come in. I say now, I become the gate." I not just asking gate to be open. I become the gate. I become the gate. I become the gate. Do you want to become the gate? You can only do it through the blood of the Lamb. The power and the blood of the Lamb. Through the power and the blood of the Lamb. Receive creative. Recreating power. Creative and recreating power. Everything that been uh, removed uh, by the doctors, everything that been removed uh, by witchcraft power, I said today uh, through the blood of the Lamb, uh, receive creative power, creative power. I said that organ, uh, true creative power of the blood of the Lamb, uh, that organ be replaced, uh, that organ be replaced right now. Uh, those dead organ, I say, I speak, I speak, I speak, I speak, replacement now, replacement now, recreate the power of the blood, come upon your life, upon your kidney, upon your liver, upon your bloodstream, I cast out, I reverse every diabetes, I reverse every diabetes, and all this effect, I reverse every, every cancer, and all this effect, I reverse every blood pressure, every hypertension, I can live with that fill your family, that fill my family. I reverse it now. The power of darkness, the oppression of darkness, I reverse them now. The power of witchcraft, the culture to that stolen, that removed things from you and I. I say we reverse it now. We bind their power, we destroy their power, we deactivate their power. What has worked for them, we refuse to work for them now. Because we are deactivated their power. By the power of the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, poison, destroying power. Everyone you've been given poison to afflict you, to affect you. I said that poison is now being destroyed now. That power, that poison that's meant to kill you. Been destroyed now, be destroyed now, be destroyed now, be destroyed now in the name of Jesus by the power that's the blood of the Lamb. Demon paralyzing power, Le Kusha Karababa. The power of the blood has demon paralyzing power. Let every demon operating in your life, in my life, in my family, in your family, in your life of your children, your husband, your wife, Ali Arababa. Let this power that's in the blood of the Lamb begin to paralyze, paralyze. 
paralyze and cast out the power of demon in the power of power darkness demon begin to hear me now begin to hear me now you obey me you come out of your hiding places fade away fade away never return back you go back to the place of no return they call over there the place of judgment there is a power in the blood of the lamb i need to stop there i will start I'm asking you now, would you be free from the burden of sin? Labashoto, if your answer is yes, I want to say to you there's a power in the blood of the Lamb, a power in the blood, the power to overcome evil. Would you overcome evil? Yes, there's a power that can overcome evil, the power that's the blood of the Lamb. A power. <coughs> Power in the blood of the Lamb. Overcome every evil. Receive the victory now. Overcome. Because Revelation 12 11 said, You already overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. And you do not fear your life unto your death. Let that begin to operate in your life, in my life now. Let that become the operating power in your life, in my life. Ah, I leave you with that. Said nothing but the blood of the Lamb. Father, we thank you, Father, for the power that's in the blood. We thank you for the blood cleansing. We thank you, Father, for the deliverance, for the healing, for the protection. We thank you for the life-giving power. We thank you for the yoke-breaking power in the blood. We thank you for the power to overcome. We thank you, Father, Lord, for the door-opening power. We thank you, Father, Lord, for the gate-opening power. We thank you, Father, Lord, for the power that breaks the chain, the power that breaks the chain, that breaks the Rope that Leola like could have been used to tie people down. Now. I said, Loose them and let them go right now. There's a power in the blood of the Lamb, the power that destroyed the boy the sinner, the power, the power that paralyzed demonic activity. We thank you, Father, for, for sanitization, for cleansing, for deliverance. We thank you, Father, for your justification. We thank you, Father, for forgiveness, for cleansing, for atonement, for victory. Total victory. No victory today and lose tomorrow. Total victory. Everlasting victory. There's a power as in the blood of the Lamb. Receive them now. Receive them now. Receive them now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Again, this is John Hakim. Look at your day. To my day of a gospel of international ministry. Run with this word and receive transforming power. I intend to run with it. Yes, I will not just be a preacher. I will also, um, the word will work for me. I will also be beneficiary of the word. The word, the power, the blood of Jesus will work for me and my household and my loved ones and my generation to come, bloodline to come, the one that are yet to be born now. The shakara they shall work for me. Thank you, Father, as you watch over this world to perform it. In Jesus' mighty name, we will testify to the glory of God. Listener, listener, and everywhere, if this has blessed you, don't just keep it. Share it. Share it. Share it. Like it. Like it. Like it. Share it. Set up notification to receive from, from the well of the Lord. Lord, uh, there are more to come from this ministry, a couple of the ministry. They call it by so to bless someone uh, with it. Uh, pray with someone with it. Uh, let the power that's the blood overcome uh, every situation. Uh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Uh, thank you, Holy Spirit, uh, as you wash over the world to perform it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 This is John Akin Shumade of Agape Love Tashem Ministry. Our calling is to share the good news of God's love worldwide. We do it through many, many ways, to ministering, preaching, helping, and practical help. 
This message has been recorded specially for you and for you and for you. And the purpose is for you to be blessed by them. Listen, share it, and write your comments. We like to know how you think and what you feel about them. How they've been a blessing to you. Bye bye. It's John Akim. Show my day of a capital ministry. Bye.